Captain Andy Garceo has been with the Guam Fire Department for over 30 years, and in 2012, complications from diabetes resulted in his left leg being amputated. One of the things he found most difficult was getting around. I was paying about uh, every time I took a trip, uh, which is limited, uh, unless I really had to go, um, it's costing me 100 bucks, um, 50, 50 bucks one way and 50 bucks back. More than anything, this devoted public servant was eager to get back to work, noting that a lack of transportation was basically holding him hostage. I went into to, to the other um, the dealers on Guam, and nobody had anything um, available. He had the option of special ordering through some of the dealerships locally, but with shipping costs, he was looking at spending close to sixty thousand dollars. He started searching online in hopes of finding a vehicle that met all his specifications. It was then he found much needed help from the University of Guam's System of Assistive Technology. I went to DISIT and I was looking for, for assistance for, uh, for grants. Um, they didn't have anything per se for a, a vehicle, um, but um, they referred me to um, UOG, the GSTAT program. And when I met um, Carla Torres, um, who's the uh, director for that, and she pretty much guided the whole process from um, I, I, all I had to do was find the van. Torres was there every step of the way from the application process, the approval, and even handling the finances. Our sale was extremely grateful for GSAT's assistance with a process that could have been stressful and long, but instead was completely the opposite. About a, maybe two weeks at the most from the time I knew what I wanted from the time I knew I could, I could get it. The van that Arceo had found was from AMAMS based out of Texas and had everything he was looking for. Man, it had a, a, a rear uh, ramp. Um, I could get almost to the, to the front seat so that when my wife's driving, I can communicate. It's not like I'm in the back of it, you know, just yelling, you know, what are we doing today, you know? Um, so it was, it was really um, um, the thing that I would really want to be concerned about was um, accessibility, me to be able to talk to my wife. Arceo is excited for his new van, which arrives this week. As for his advice to those individuals who are currently in the same situation as he is. Just do your homework, because, because um, you can call Carla or anybody for that matter, any uh, program, uh, unless you have something that you can present to them, you know, really, w what good is that? If you would like more information, you are encouraged to contact GSET at 735-2493 or check out their website at www.guamcedars.org. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jenna Gincharfras.